This was a first for me. I found a maybe baby hummingbird on the road when I was walking the dogs. There'll be some video after this photo, but I really couldn't take any video when I was corralling dogs and, and a baby bird and all that other kind of stuff. Uh, anyway, um, I got the little baby bird home and put it in a big pickle jar uh, to corral it because it really was like laying on its side. It couldn't grab onto anything. It wasn't doing anything at all. I tried to see if he would uh, drink a little something from that cup there, but he's used it as a perch and he wasn't drinking from it. And um, I took care of him that night and let him stay overnight in a dark area and then um, proceeded to take care of him some more the next day and release. So uh, take a look at the video and it made really made my day. I hope it does for you. And a little bit of nectar for the rescue. Which is a little better if I used my thumb for the angles that are involved. Just get this down near his beak. Here he goes. And that's about an inch of fluid. And I just fed him about 15 minutes ago. And he drank the whole thing then. And he's still going at it. And I will uh, probably do this again in about 15 minutes after this. And try a little while later and see if he's ready for release. Found him on the side of the road and uh, couldn't fly. And I brought him home and kind of secured him a little bit. He didn't want to drink or do anything at the beginning. Um, I just used some clean water initially until I saw a little stung, uh, tongue come out. And it's almost like he, uh, oops, almost like their, this, his beak was frozen shut, like it's spider webs or something like that. And so when he was able to open the beak a little bit, I put some hummingbird nectar that I have for the other hummingbirds in the area and he took to it so he looks like I think he's got his fill for right now and I'll try it a couple more times to make sure he's okay he may have just been stunned you know flew into something not sure not the hummingbird whisperer here and I'm gonna see if I can let him go in just a little bit, he just might have needed a little bit of rest. Okay, uh, got the little guy here. Plan is to lift him gently out of there and place him on a feeder. Uh, their little feet are not designed to walking on ground. They need to grasp something small, like designed for the feeder. So hopefully he'll stay there as long as he wants and take off if he can. And I'll have a little bit more control over it. So uh, wish us luck here. Okay, don't want to startle him too much. Let's see if I can pick up the cloth that he's sitting on. So he already has something that he's on. Okay. God, it's just like a giant phoenix moth. Oh, he's actually trying to lick at my hand. Oh, there he goes. Oh my God. And he's chirping away. That is so awesome. Please remember to subscribe and share this video to help disabled animals with donated wheelchairs.